Any questions so far? No? Now, take a look at this picture. As I said, at first, this part of the fluid start to move with this velocity. Around here, the fluid has not moved yet. Okay? But as the time goes, the fluid up here can move eventually. Okay? According to physics, anything with mass that moves should have momentum. Right? So, this part of the fluid has some certain value of mass. It has some certain value of velocity. So therefore, this part of the fluid should have momentum. The momentum is basically mass times velocity, mv. Okay? If the fluid up here, let's say the profile, If the fluid up here has no velocity yet, that means at this point, velocity is equal to zero at this particular moment. Even though it has its own mass, but velocity is equal to zero. So therefore, its momentum is zero, right? So initially, if you consider two parts one part has momentum, the other part in adjacent to this part here has no momentum. But eventually, once you wait longer, at this point, the same position, this will have momentum. Eventually, this part of the fluid would gain momentum. It would flow eventually, right? So once it's flow, it starts to have momentum. So people would say that if initially it, this part has no momentum, but then it somehow gain momentum. That means momentum must be transferred from this part to that part. Okay? So this arrow here uh, represents uh, momentum transfer. You can say that this part of the fluid can move because the bottom part transfer some part of the momentum to the area above it. And therefore, once it's gained momentum, it can move with velocity, some certain value of velocity. So there is some momentum transfer in y direction. All right? Now, when you look at this part of the fluid, it has velocity in x direction. So if I say that velocity is in x direction, should result in momentum in x direction as well. Momentum is supposed to have uh, directions. So I'm going to say that velocity in x direction gives you x momentum. And momentum should have the unit of what? The unit of momentum is Momentum is mv, right? Mass times velocity. This is the unit of momentum. Okay? What about unit of tau? Tau should have unit of force per area. What is unit of force? Newton, which is kilogram meter per second square, this is force, right? And then you divide it by area meter square. As a result, you get kilogram per meter second square.
All right. Take a look at this. If I use this momentum divided by area, divided by time, what does this thing call? This is momentum per area per time. This thing is called momentum flux, right? Whenever we talk about flux, flux means like heat flux is heat per unit area per time. Momentum per unit area per time is called momentum flux. Please note that the area here supposed to be perpendicular to the direction of the transfer of that flux. Like heat flux, if I have heat flux going in direction, in this direction, the area that used to divide in to find the heat flux here supposed to be the perpendicular area like, like this. Okay? Now, when you look into the unit of momentum flux, it is kilogram per meter per second square which is exactly the same as here. All right? So that means tau yx, which is associated with the movement, and the movement is associated with momentum. Tau yx not only means shear stress, it can be interpreted as momentum flux as well. So tau yx has two meanings. The first meaning means the shear stress applied on the fluid. The shear stress means the force applied is momentum flux. Okay? And you should notice that momentum itself right now has direction in x axis. So this is x momentum flux, but the momentum here is transfer from one point to another. It's transferred from the bottom part to the top part. So this X momentum flux is transferred in Y direction. So there are two directions associated with these entities. First direction is the direction of the, the flow. The second direction is the direction of the transfer of the momentum itself. The whole thing here has two directions. So it is tensor. Okay? So we use tau yx. X here, if you say that tau yx means shear stress. X here corresponds to direction of the force. Y here corresponds to the direction perpendicular to the area that the force is applied. All right? Force is in X direction, applies on this area. This area is perpendicular to Y. Okay? For the first meaning of tau YX, it means shear stress. Second, subscripts corresponds to the direction of the force. First subscript corresponding to the direction perpendicular to the area. However, if you consider second meanings of tau, which means moment, momentum flux, second subscript here corresponds to the direction of the flow. So here is correspond to direction of the flow Vx. Y here is direction of the transfer. All right. So how can we write or represent tensor? In this case, I'm going to write something like this. This is tau yx. It has one direction in X, 
it has another direction in Y. All right. Any question? Do you understand? The concept of momentum or the concept of tensor is somehow difficult to understand because it has two directions associated with it. Normally, we are more familiar with vector, but tensor is a new concept. But don't you worry, we only have one tensor, momentum flux. The rest of the course is not tensor. Okay? Now, let's talk about viscosity for the moment here. According to the equation, if you have high viscosity, high viscosity means you need to put a lot of force in order to move liquid, right? In order to create velocity here, if the, the viscosity is high, um, this supposed to be large number, while this can be small number. That means for the viscous liquid, you need to apply very great number of force to move the liquid. It say the liquid here is viscous. So sometimes vis viscosity is called resistant to flow. Okay? And you should remember